having topic one A and one B technically because it all ties in. I mean, all ties in. Where Getting you want to go? Geek. Telling you pretty much you were alluding to all the stuff. Um, when we were trying to talk about talking about Jessica Jones, we we're getting sidetracked a bit. So, what is this? All this stuff you were tying into before? Okay, so in on a grander scope of things, in general, uh, the year upcoming, 2016, has 2016. a has a lot to offer, comic book movie wise. Okay, let's before we go into it. Sure. Before we get, talk about it, okay. Let's list because I can only think of two on the top of my head. Okay. I got uh, Batman, the big one. Batman, Superman, Batman versus Superman, Superman sure. versus Batman, whatever you want to call it. That's in March. Dawn of Justice. The Civil War trailer, which just was released early this week. Amazing. Um, Blew my mind. Yeah, we haven't talked about that yet. Nope. Um, going to do today. And uh, that comes out in May. Yes. So we got one DC. Um, oh, actually, I thought of a third one. I just thought of a third one. Uh, um, Suicide Squad comes out in August. Yes. And then I don't know anything else with Marvel next year. Does Marvel come out with three movies next year? They should. Because I think uh, 2016 is the first year where they're coming out with three movies a year instead of two. Well, I, if I'm not mistaken, we got Ragnarok, Thor. I think Thor, that, that usually comes out like... November, late. around yeah, my yeah, birthday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So Thor comes out next year. And so... We'll, so would be the third Marvel movie. We'll have Civil War. We'll have Thor Ragnarok. We'll have Deadpool. We'll have... Oh, that's in February, yeah. That's not M- M- MCU, though. Technically, but yeah. it's still a comic book movie. Yeah. Um, we'll have the Dawn of Justice. Right. I hate saying that. Yep. So do I. The worst title <laughs> ever. Uh, we are going to have, if I'm not mistaken, a new Star Trek movie. And I'm missing one. Black Panther or Doctor Strange? It's Doctor Strange next year, isn't it? That seems early. Are you sure? No. They're filming right now, aren't they? Yeah, but it's that seems early. I don't know. You want me to look it up? Look it up. Talk. talk. I'm going to talk. You talk more about this topic while I look it up. I'm going to talk. You look it up. The reason that I want to bring this up is because, one, number one, I want to know which one you're most excited for. Uh, for those of you that follow me on Instagram and or are close enough to me to be a friend on Facebook and or just follow me on Facebook, either way, I posted recently about Civil War. Uh, in fact, my uh, younger cousin, uh, Steve, uh, tagged me in a post uh, mm-hmm. with the Civil War trailer and I lost my mind when I saw it because it looks amazing. Marvel, as terms of movies go, when Iron Man kicked off and started the entire MCU, I was blown away. Uh, Robert Downey Jr., I lacked faith in. I was completely wrong. Turns out he is Tony Stark. Turns out he is a legend. Turns out he is like the best man of all time. <laughs> with a dark past totally fine i have one of those it's all right i still try to be a legend anyways the iron man movies unfortunately for me and i can probably bet that this guy next to me feels the same way have kind of gone downhill yeah the solo iron man movies have been i, I love robert downey as tony stark yeah. but the solo iron man movies again with your talk about even villains the first one that's the thing like even the first one it's a it's a decent movie but again my whole thing with the villains it's it's okay understand understandably so However, Marvel just needed to kick off the character. They did. Obadiah Stane and Iron Monger are things from the com- comics. But I bypassed that. The next two movies were just kind of... Mm. Now, Captain America films, on the other hand, which is funny because, as I recall, you did not think the first one was that great. I love the first one. Again, the first Iron Man movie was... I love seeing Robert... It was like, Robert Downey... If it wasn't Robert Downey Jr., I just would have been like, whatever, with this movie. Grand Paltrow was fine. All this stuff, but the villain was okay. Like, it's by far the best one of the individual movies. Like by far. Oh yeah, by far. Iron Man one, definitely. Oh, yeah, by far. How can you hate Jeff Bridges? Yeah, exactly. He's okay. Like he, he it's a bit, it was like really the whole like in whole again. I made it. I'm not gonna make this the whole point, but I felt like his plot at the very end, like getting into the suit, like made no sense. If you think about it, I'm not gonna go into it, but it's fine. Um, um, okay, so Hannah, do you want me to go? Uh, list them. Okay, let's listen. talk before we talk about okay. them. List them. So, and this is what we got. Starting in February, we have Deadpool. Deadpool's coming up. That's gonna yeah. be exciting because it's rated R, and I'm very, it's very, very supportive. Needed of that. a rated R already. Uh, needed a rated R rating. And also, I mean, it's Deadpool. You have to. Have, it, has to be, it has to be rated R if you want to do it right. Ten percent. Ten percent. Um, and then in March, March is uh, uh, I'm not calling it 
the other title. I'm calling it Batman versus Superman. That's how I'm calling that movie. And then in May is Captain America Civil War. Then X-Men Apocalypse comes out in May as well. Oh, yeah, we forgot about X-Men Apocalypse. And then Ninja Turtles 2 comes out in June, which surprisingly enough, like as much as people um, have knocked that movie, I thought it was decent. And I thought it was. I, it was fun. Yeah, I thought it was decent. And I think the uh, the uh, Nostalgia Critic, which I showed it to you, I think they summed it up best. Like, There's been so many different renditions of Turtles throughout the years, and that's what keeps it alive. Right. And I don't think... It was yeah. not a great movie by any means, but I was, I was fine. And it was a short movie, and it was okay. I mean, it was fine. So that comes out in June. Now the one I'm probably second... I'm excited most for Civil War. Um, and second for me is Suicide Squad. I'm actually very excited for Suicide Squad. I'm actually more excited for that than Batman vs. Superman, mainly because... Okay, and I, this, this, this has a big part of what we're about to talk about, but right. continue I'll, I'll on. I'll finish off the list before continue I give on. opinions. Gambit is coming out next year in October. Is it still Channing Tatum? Uh, yes, which he could be fine. I don't. I, I have faith in him. He's he was good in this one in his last movie. He was really uh, not his last movie, but that that Fox Chaser movie. He was up. For, he wasn't up for the Oscar. The movie was up for an Oscar. My only concern is that if they cast Channing Tatum, they're just going to be like, let's make a movie about Channing Tatum. Yeah, I, I have a feeling with that too. And I like Channing. I have no problem with Channing Tatum. I like him, but it, again, that's that's again that's a concern with Ben Affleck. Let's make a movie about Ben Affleck. Uh, before we uh, go off to it, uh, the last one is Doctor Strange. So Doctor Strange is coming out, it says here, uh, November, and Gamma's coming out in October. So there's going to be a lot of comic movies. So I, yeah. uh, just let me count out. Before, I'm not talking, and then I'm not counting animated stuff right now, like animated movies. No, no, no. So no. I'm just talking about, do, so count it off for me. Doctor Strange, Gambit, Suicide Squad, Ninja Turtles, uh, Apoc- uh, Apocalypse, um, Civil War, uh, Batman vs. Superman, and Deadpool. That's eight movies. That's eight comic book movies this year. That's yeah. crazy. That is crazy. Tons. That's so, insane. That's insane. So, the comic book movie genre, you and I have uh, tended to agree, lately, has been kind of hitting a lull. Again, I still need to see Ant-Man to see if it's if there's they, they brought some life into this or... Eh, I, I don't know. Now, I liked Ant-Man a lot. Paul Rudd, I enjoy. Uh, Michael Douglas, I enjoy. Mm-hmm. Again... You weren't wrong when, from the trailers alone, you called the villain formulaic and said, it's just, again, it's it's technology versus technology. This is exactly what we saw in Iron Man. Yes, mm-hmm. it was. However, the character needed to be introduced. My longstanding thing with Marvel movies, they're very hero-focused. We need to introduce these characters. We need to introduce these characters. We need to introduce these characters. Let's just put a villain that nobody cares about in there so that they can struggle against him for one film him or her for one film and everybody's happy because they really like these heroes. Yeah. And and it it uh, does it's where Netflix shines because Netflix is a has the full series run. They introduce a villain and a hero and you love that villain and you love that hero because you get to witness everything that they struggle through for an extended true. amount of time, which is awesome. So the MCU really I think we can agree Especially with the birth, uh, not the birth, but the, well, I guess kind of the birth in the MCU anyway, of Thanos. We need something big out of Thanos because he keeps seemingly being the underlying villain. That's, that's going to be the end all be all. It's an understatement, I feel. Thanos, from all this hype up, from all the way from a first Avengers movie in 2012, all the way up, he's going to be up, in, finally be like the main enemy in what, 2017 or 18? Uh, in the, At the end in of the third Avengers. Three, yeah. third Avengers like Infinity they Wars. have hyped him up so much and alluded to him. Like if he's not the greatest villain of history, it's going to be a disappointment. You know what I'm right. trying to say? Like they have to build him up so much. And in Guardians, when they finally get to see him, I actually liked how he looked better in that small little clip in Avengers had than how he looked in Guardians. And that's just my opinion. Yes. Um, it was a lot more. Um, he looked more. He looked darker, and he looked um, more. Um, Conniving is the best way to describe it. In in Avengers. In Avengers, yeah. Yes. In, in 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 he just seemed in, like a, he, in Guardians. In, he just seemed like Guardians, a guy. In he Guardians, just seemed like a guy. In Guardians, they made one mistake. Huh. They mode capped him in a manner such that he would have Josh Brolin esque features, just like the Norton Hulk had Norton features, uh. and the. Uh, Ruffalo Hulk had Ruffalo features. Uh, okay. They didn't need to do that. That was no. a huge mistake. They should have just. They should have just left him. As he was, perfect, and right out of the comics, 
but they gave him Brolin-esque features in Guardians. And I wasn't a fan of his voice either. I mean, that's just it wasn't this menacing voice at all. Like, I, if you're making the great, like trying to make the greatest villain in your universe you've been doing since 2005, you got to make this like you got to be you got to be making it big. I'm talking yeah. about Darth Vader big. You know what I'm saying? Like, give him the whole package, and I'm not, I, I'm he, they could they could. Change it up, you know. Like, and, and again, it really hurt Avengers two at the end. of Avengers two, we see Thanos going for the Infinity Gauntlet. That was like the worst sneak preview. preview. And that was another reason why I felt it was a downfall. Like all these like great after the credit features, all these fun things like the Thanos reveal at the end of Avengers, yeah. And like after Iron Man or two or something like that, we saw the Thor, and um, you know, after Iron Man, we saw Avengers. You know, I'm saying like all these little different like, hints, and then at the end of Avengers, it's just something that we've seen before. Yeah. You know, it wasn't really okay. And I mean, the problem was that it was middle of the time. They wanted, everyone wanted Spider-Man to be in there at the end of Avengers 2 because we know he's going to come up in future events. He's probably going to be in Civil War. I think it's confirmed he's in Civil War. Um, they he should, at the very least, he should have some kind of role in that. Yeah, no, I think they revealed that he's going to be, they haven't shown him, obviously, but it's going to be huge when he comes in. Yeah. It's going to be absolutely massive. But, yeah, I mean, that's huge. Like, Spider-Man's, like, the top three greatest superheroes of all time. And you have to, and like, him to be in the movie, yeah. finally, in Marvel Universe, is going to be insane. It's going to be insane. But it was just a little short time to be him in, uh, event, at the end of Avengers 2. But anywho, um, where are we going with this? Um, so, number one, uh, I would like to know what you're most excited about for okay. 2016. Okay. Um, when we talk about villains... It kind of will segue. I guess we we should segue into that first before I, I ask what you're most excited about. But I I ask about what you're most excited about because you have such a problem with MCU villains. Yeah. And for me, we both agreed that the the comic book movie is, and the hero movie genre as a whole, kind of at a lull. Avengers 2 did not live up to Avengers 1. I liked it. I didn't hate it. But Avengers 1 was flawless to me. Still my favorite movie of all time. Yeah, Avengers is it was fantastic. It was great. And Second MCU was- has, has some work to do. But what I'm curious about with the, the DC cinematic universe is they are coming out with the Suicide Squad. And obviously, you know, the big news with the surrounding Joker, Jared Leto, Ben Affleck, Batman, uh, we know that Batman's going to make an appearance in Suicide Squad. Sure. We you know, we don't know exactly what's going to happen in Dawn of Justice. We we just know that it's Batman versus Superman. It's a big deal. Big deal. Blake. Me me <laughs> me personally, this is going to be the make or break movie for the Suicide comic- Squad? No, no, no. Uh, Batman versus Superman. Oh, God. See, that's why I'm like... It's, it's going to be the make or break movie for the genre, regardless of what Marvel does, in it- my eyes, because the general public, if they really fail at putting Batman and Superman on the screen at the same time, and they, they fail, it's going to be a disaster. Now, Now, having said that, what I'm real interested in with Suicide Squad, that was a real random pick for me, and I was just like... What? They have so much work to do. They want to compete with Marvel. They haven't put out movies about any of their big seven, which really in the DC universe, to me, to be fair, the big seven are are all that counts in the Justice League. And then I thought about it for a little while, and I was like, well, now if they're taking the approach to make us like the villains first, that could work. Because there have been very few villains in comic book movies that have been shown love. Look at the Fantastic Four movies. Doom. Atrocious. Uh, The best one to date, I think, in my eyes, Loki, obviously, was amazing. But outside of of the Whedon Avengers series and stuff like that, everybody kind of faced their formulaic villain in the, in the origin story, you know, things like that. Obviously Loki has stood through a lot of the DC or a lot of the Marvel uh, cinematic universe and he keeps reappearing, which is awesome because Tom Hiddleston is great. But I think outside of him, uh, Ledger and Jack Nicholson, obviously amazing as the Joker, but um, Doc Ock and Spider-Man two. Oh, uh, Magnola, uh, Manola, uh, Alfred, Alfred Manola. Um, yeah, how, Molina. Molina. Alfred Molina. He was probably my favorite leading up to all that. Well, I have a soft spot because Doc Ock is one of my favorite villains of all time. And I thought not only did he look like him, which is extremely rare. Right. Um, 
but he, I think he nailed it. Um, and that's still in all comic book movies. It's still my, my probably my, one of my favorite scenes is the uh, the hospital scene where he's the the surgeon scene where it's like very much Sam Raimi. Raimi comes out like yeah. that Evil Dead style he was doing during that time, and he incorporated the movie. But yeah, Doc Ock would probably be one of my favorite um, villains, and it's not even the Marvel universe. I just, I'm talking about just villains. Uh, yeah, he'd and be so by far one of my favorite villains. In the, yeah, in any, in any comic book movie. Yeah, and then yeah, go ahead. And so again, I I think what DC cinematic universe is doing is, is very make or break because I like the idea of suicide squad because it's going to force you to focus on villains, which is awesome. Even though there's, I mean, there, there's really not any of them that are like huge front runner villains with the exception of, of Leto who's appearing as the Joker. Mm -hmm. but, but Harley Quinn is, I mean, she has really gotten popular and I'm talking really yeah, popular over big the years. time. Um, I'm actually brought to you by the animated series, right? It was, yeah, she was not a combo character before the anim uh, animated series, which quick, uh, point right now. Today is Kevin Conroy's 60th birthday. So oh, happy yeah. birthday, Kevin Conroy. Happy birthday. Ke the real, the one and only Batman, the greatest the, Batman voice of all the time. The greatest Batman of all time. I don't care if it's a voice. He was the greatest Batman. It of was. All time. Yeah. That's the Batman. I if grew I had, up if with. I had to choose between yeah. any of them, I, I'm talking about voice or actor, Kevin Conroy, you are, you are Batman. Happy birthday, Batman. Happy birthday, Batman. That's right. Um, I was really disappointed, though, when I heard Suicide Squad was going to be rated PG-13 because it looks extremely dark. And right. I was really hoping for rated R for that. But um, I'm really excited for that because I really, when I saw that trailer that was released during Comic-Con, I'm like, this looks awesome, I felt. Um, I've, I've, I think it just looks good. I know a lot of people are getting, like ripping on a little bit from Will Smith. Um, and the whole, like, we're just some kind of suicide squad or some like corny line he delivers in the trailer, but I, that didn't really, I'm like, whatever, I can overlook that. Right. But I'm, um, but, um, I, the, the cast of villains, there's a lot of villains in there that I don't care about or even know, but there's a lot of, there's a handful of villains that are really like Deadshot, uh, Joker, Harley Quinn. And I have a soft spot for Croc. I like Croc a lot. I think he's a cool villain and he's got a backstory. Um, Again, all Batman villains, though. I mean, where Batman and Spider-Man always go head to head, who's, who's the best combo character of all time, uh, mainly because of their villain, their their uh, what do you call it? Um, the I'm, Rogue Gallery. The, the Rogue Gallery. Thank you. Yeah. Um, even though I still, you know, and I both agree that both that Superman is the greatest superhero of all time, even though his Rogue Gallery sucks. He's not. He doesn't have the greatest. Okay. Rogue so gallery. so big point here and there, right? So if DC is going to take the approach of focusing on villains, one of the primary reasons that. In all honesty, Civil War is kind of a safety blanket for me. The Captain America movies have been phenomenal. Um, Winter Soldier was outstanding. I think. Well, Winter, and we're talking about all these comic book movies that Marvel has put out in the Marvel Universe. I say, uh, if if let's put it this way, if Cap's if someone said Cap was their, they liked better than Avengers and that was their favorite, like I have no problem with that. Right, and no so that's why. So surprisingly enough civil war is not what i'm looking forward to most like even though i freaked out about it on social media and i do freak out about mm -hmm. it in real life sure. because i can't wait to see it i black have panther a, baby black uh, right. panther t'challa is I'm finally so gonna make an appearance. pumped about black panther um geez we have yeah this is flying by yeah you want to do and, three parts are you gonna do a fourth part we, 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 could. we, we could. could we could we can do a we can do we could talk parts. we could we could do one extra bonus sequence uh, a post-credit sequence actually if post you wanted to anyways we could talk what, about this more so civil war not actually the movie that i'm most anticipating for 2016 okay. because because it's a very safe bet and i think that it's going to be amazing and even watching the trailer i'm like man okay they're doing it right i return back to superman versus batman because i think it's going to again i think it's going to be the make or break we talked about villains primary reason why jesse eisenberg cast as lex luther lex luther is a very integral part of that movie. And that's my biggest curiosity about the film. There's a and lot, I, I really, a really hope that they do him justice because I Dawn got Dawn of it, Justice? Dawn of Justice. I got it in, in the, you know, the Reeves films with Gene Hackman where it was kind of campy and kind of cheesy. But when they tried to do The Return of Superman and... I love Brandon Routh. I thought he was actually a great cast as Superman, but and I love Kevin Spacey. And I was just like, yeah, Kevin Spacey as Luther, that could work. 
But they return Didn't Luther. Work. They return. <laughs> they return Luther to just this like hackneyed, like lame, like. But also the plot. I mean, yeah, the plot I'm just. The worst, I'm though. just gonna con a, a, a rich widow out of her money, and that's how I make my fortune. The, the, and I'm just like, the ah, islands, like making the come on, I, like making the island. I don't even know what. Right, that, Cal I, Penn was in there as a villain. I saw the movie. I was one like, time. Kumar. Kumar is a villain. Are you yeah, serious? I just, yeah. He's probably just high and wants White Castle. This is lame. Yeah, I, just what his goal was in the movie. Kevin Spacey, uh, Lex Luthor's plan for making. I, I don't even know. I don't care. It was stupid. Throwing crystals into the into the water. Let know. me throw these crystals into the water. I don't know. It was, it, I don't yeah, know. the writing on that was terrible. Brian Singer, if you... Mm. X-Men Apocalypse, I don't trust you. I'm not, that's not in my anticipation yeah. list at all. No, not at all. Um, I hope Brian say, Singer would, sends me I'm excited mail. for Deadpool. It doesn't look um, like the Deadpool movie I would want. It's the best way to describe it, but I'm. I, it looks, but it's. It looks amusing, and it looks like they're gonna get some things right. Number Does one thing sense? I'm excited for in Deadpool, you already know what it is. What's that? Colossus. Yeah, because he looks exactly like he did in the comics. Yeah, he looks good. And they cast a six foot ten Russian guy to play him. Is that right? Yeah. Oh, okay, that's good. Yeah, yeah they they, I think the, they, they. The dude they, is 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 not in shape at all, but he's a giant, oh, and cool. they put a mocap suit on him. And when you actually see him in the trailer, he's. Stacked and he looks like Colossus right. in the comics. Um, so, Danny, this is your, the game time decision right now. We have to make a decision fast. Are we yeah. going for a fourth part, or are we rating the beer and calling it a night? Because we have to. It's we're we're really short. We're on pressing time. limits right now. Let's just call what. Uh, let's just call it. Let's say we're going to do a post credit sequence. Post credit sequence. Topic one point C. <laughs> we had one A, one B. Now one point C. I would, call it, back I would call it a high C. High C. All right. So since we're on a roll, we're just going. Why not? This is this is my show. This is our show. This bonus is, footage. Bonus footage. We're going. We're we're going live. We're keeping it live. <laughs> <laughs>